It's so hard to compare the images we see in the media of those living in poverty in Africa to actually seeing it. When the barrier of our TV and computer screen is broken, everything changes. To be honest, it's not entirely different from what we see on our screens, but when you're there, you can't turn it off. Three weeks ago, a team from World Overcomers led by First Lady LaShawn Thompson completed our third mission trip to Kenya. Our time there was life-changing, and it's our hope and prayer that we were able to change the lives of the children at Sumac Primary School in Lowry, Kenya. While we were there, our team focused on three main areas of ministry, recreation, sustainable living, and sustainable income projects. Our recreation was led by Quan Burgos and Brandon Williams. Quan led a team of workers to build a playground while Brandon organized team building activities and sports for the children. We also had a series of art classes for the children there led by Eric Marsh. This is Grace John, one of the locals we partnered with on our trip. Okay, art is important for one. We'll be able to nurture the talent and we'll be able to identify the children that will be able to, to do this in future. They are artists here, but uh, not unless they get someone to affirm them, or oh, that will never happen. Our sustainable living project was organized by myself. We educated the children on female, male, and oral hygiene, and we distributed the supplies to go with it. Seeing the expression on these kids' faces for just receiving a toothbrush was astonishing. And when they received their pencils, they felt like they were going to explode. Our sustainable income project was actually started in 2013 when we purchased two cows for the school. For one, I'd love to say thank you to WCC uh, for supporting whole project because they started with two cows. Right now we have four. Hoping in the next few years we'll be having ten. Yes, <laughs> yes. We learned that the cows are producing some milk, but what they need now is a chaffing machine to help feed the cows and another machine to milk the cows more efficiently. With these things, the school can then sell the milk and make upwards to 300 US dollars every month. This may not seem like a lot to some, but that could sustainably cover the dairy farm and all the children's school supplies for one month. And the cows will only grow from there, and we're really excited about that they'll be able to help the children, either buy stationaries for the school and also out of the uh, sustainable project, this can help even in the feeding program, mm -hmm. being here at the school. Because mm -hmm. even some of the children, maybe they're not able to get a meal a day, but the moment uh, they are helped with a sustainable project like the cows, oh, it's going to help the school like have a meal each day. Every day we'd gather to pray and debrief about what happened. As a team member, it was astonishing to experience our worldview change each day we were there. In this situation, in this area, you're thinking, oh, they're probably so sad and they're like, because they don't have what we have in America or whatever, but it's kind of like, they, like, they don't know what they don't know, yeah, so to them it's like this is normal and they're happy. Art just is not in the curriculum anymore. He said they took it out of the curriculum in 1985. Yeah. So that's over 30 years with our art classes in here, and that the only time they get to paint here is when we come. You know, I want to thank World Overcomers, and I want to thank Mom for really giving us all this opportunity, and all that, yeah. all the giving and donations that we've had, um, you know, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's making the difference. It's everything. And it's not just giving, it's literally an investment. It's an yeah. investment into these kids' future. It's an investment and a deposit into us because right. we're changing, as you said. Um, so it's literally an investment into what's next because we're planting seeds and we know that one plants another waters and God will give the increase. On our trip, we distributed 2,827 sanitary napkins, 562 toothbrushes and tubes of toothpaste, 1,292 pencils, I mounted five pencil sharpeners, and 151 nail clippers for boys. While we were there, we learned that we were building the first ever playground and soccer field of the entire county of Lari, Kenya. And it's our prayer that the sustainable projects will provide Sumac Primary School the necessary resources they so desperately need to thrive spiritually, academically, and economically. Our heart's desire is to go into the world, touch the lives of children, and impact their future.